everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back today with a tutorial for the look on my face right now. I know this is a very bold out there look, but with Valentine's Day around the corner, I was so inspired by pinks and purples and magentas and fuchsia. So I want to go ahead and just bring those all together into this one bold eye look. I give you two different lip options in this video. You can either downplay this whole thing with a beautiful nude lip. The lippy I'm wearing on my lips right now is the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Lumiere. And the bold lip you guys see in my video is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Backstage Bambi. The star of today's look is the single eyeshadow from ColourPop Cosmetic, and this is in the shade Slave to Pink, which I will have it linked down below. It is a beautiful iridescent -y, purpley, pinky shade. It's so unique, and I absolutely love it so, so much, and this was actually my main inspiration for this entire look. If you guys have any questions, requests, or any comments, leave those all down below, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up, of course, and subscribe if you're not already, but I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I have been using new lighting that I'm in love with. I will have it linked down below. But the first thing we're going to do is put this eyeshadow base on from NYX. This is in the shade Blanc. And then we're going to set it with the Ofra Oil Control Pressed Powder. If you're wondering why any of the products I'm going to be using, I will have them linked down below. But now I'm going to go into my BH Cosmetics Modern Mattes eyeshadow palette, going into that really light baby pink shade with a very, very fluffy brush and blending that into the crease. And then right after that, I'm going to go into that more rosy toned pink and we're going to put that on the very outside corner and blend it out. And then for the star of the show, we're going to go to the ColourPop eyeshadow in the shade Slave to Pink, which once again will be linked down below. It is a beautiful iridescent pinky purpley shade. I'm going to very carefully apply this pigment on the lid with my finger because I feel like you get the best pigmentation with your finger. And then we're going to go into the Wet n Wild Color Icon Pigment Collection Palette. This one is in the shade High Flying Colors. We're going to take that purple and with a very dense blender brush, we're going to go ahead and just put that into the outside corner and blend. And then we're going to go ahead and take a clean brush, this one's from Wet n Wild, and once again just blend those outside corner edges just to make sure there's no harsh lines. Alright, so all I'm doing right here is taking whatever is left on that brush as far as the purple shade and dragging it into the inner corner of the eye to create that bridge so we can create a very beautiful halo eye. Alright, so now we're picking up a very, very small brush, and we're going to pick up that purple shade, and we're going to tuck that into the outside corner. I had to sneeze here, but it, like, went away. I don't know why. It always happens to me. I have no idea why. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm picking up this pink shade with a very, very small, less dense blender brush. And we're going to blend that on the outside edge of that purple shade just to blend everything out to create a beautiful gradient effect. Inevitably, with any form of blending, you're going to lose pigmentation, so I'm just reapplying that Slave to Pink shade. I was going to film me putting my face makeup on, but I figured why not just do it with the power of editing. So now my entire face is done, so let's get back to the eyes. All I've done so far is I applied some liner and some falsies, so now I'm taking this very, very precise pencil brush, picking up that purple shade and blending it all along that bottom lash line to smoke the look out. And then we're going to take that pink shade with that same brush and do the same thing, but we're blending it just below that purple to create a more gradient effect on the bottom lash line so everything looks cohesive. So now I'm taking the Jeffree Star Skin Frost in the shade Ice Cold and placing that into the inner corner eye to highlight that area. And then we're going to also highlight our entire face using the same highlighter because it's such a beautiful highlighter. Alright guys, so for the last time we're going to take that Slave to Pink shade and we're going to tuck that into the lower lash line. And then we're going to go ahead and apply some lip balm and then we have two different lip options you can go with for this look. 
You can go ahead with the safer option and use a beautiful nude lip. This lippy stick is in the shade Lumiere from Colourpop Cosmetics. Or if you are more of a daring person, you like the bold statement lips, you can use any pink shade, purple shade, whatever your little heart desires. But the one I'm going to be using right now is in the shade Backstage Bambi, and this is from Kat Von D. This is her everlasting liquid lipstick, and I absolutely love this formula, even though it's a little bit drying. But anyways, guys, that completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any requests, comments, or questions, leave those down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much. Bye!